maybe there was something before the Big Bang. And the reason we can't figure it out is because um, the density of matter... And December 19th is now just days away, and I need to address the question everyone is asking. Is December 19th safe? The United Nations has activated emergency protocols for 3i Atlas's closest approach to Earth, and the Internet is filled with speculation, rumors, and fear. Today, I'm going to give you the facts no sensationalism, no panic, just the truth about what's happening and what you need to know. By the end of this video, you'll understand exactly what the UN protocol means, what the real risks are, and whether you should be concerned about December 19th. Let's separate fact from fiction, right now. First, let's be absolutely clear about what the United Nations actually activated. The UN Office for Outer Space Affairs has a system called the International Asteroid Warning Network, or IAWN. This network was established after the Selyabinsk meteor incident in Russia back in 2013. When a meteor exploded over a populated area and injured over 1,500 people, the IAWN has different alert levels. What they activated for 3i Atlas is called a Level 3 Alert, which is designated for objects making close approaches to Earth that require enhanced monitoring. Now, the key word there is monitoring. This is not an evacuation order. This is not a planetary emergency declaration. This is a coordination protocol that ensures all space agencies and observatories are working together to track the object continuously. Since the system was created 12 years ago, Level 3 has been activated eight times. Every single previous activation resulted in the object passing by Earth safely, exactly as predicted. The protocol exists not because these objects are dangerous, but because when something comes relatively close to Earth, we want maximum observation and coordination. So let me answer the first part of the question directly. The UN activation does not mean December 19th is dangerous. It means December 19th is important for scientific observation, and they want all resources focused on tracking 3i Atlas during its closest approach. Now let's talk about the actual distance involved, because this puts everything in perspective. On December 19th, 3i Atlas will pass Earth at a distance of approximately 140 million kilometers. That's roughly 90 million miles in the old measurement system. To help you understand how far that really is, let me give you some comparisons. The Moon is about 400,000 kilometers from Earth, so 3i Atlas will be more than 300 times farther away than the Moon. Mars, when it's at its closest to Earth, is about 55 million kilometers away. So 3i Atlas will be more than twice as far as Mars at its closest. At that distance, there is zero possibility of a direct impact on December 19th. None. The laws of physics simply don't allow an object at that distance to suddenly hit Earth. It would be like being concerned that a car driving on a highway two states away might somehow instantly appear in your living room. It's not physically possible, so why all the concern? The concern isn't about December 19th itself. The concern is about what might happen after December 19th if the object behaves unpredictably. And that brings us to the real Issue 3 I Atlas's anomalous behavior. Here's what has space agencies around the world paying such close attention. 3 I Atlas is not behaving like a normal comet or asteroid. We've documented multiple anomalized trajectory changes that suggest course corrections, impossible anti-solar jets that defy conventional physics, organized structural features in high-resolution images, and radio emissions that don't match natural processes. When you have an object exhibiting these kinds of anomalies, the prudent thing to do is watch it very carefully. Not because you expect it to do something dangerous, but because you don't fully understand what it's capable of doing. That's the essence of the UN Protocol Activation, maximum vigilance for an object that's shown it can do unexpected things. Professor Avi Loeb, from Harvard, who has been advising international space agencies on 3i Atlas, put it this way in a recent statement, The activation of monitoring protocols is not a prediction of danger. It's an acknowledgement of uncertainty. When we encounter something we don't fully understand, we watch it closely. That's responsible science. 
the December 19th closest approach gives us the best opportunity. We will ever have to observe this object in detail. Every major telescope on Earth will be pointed at it. The Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, radio telescope arrays, spectroscopic instruments, all of them will be collecting data simultaneously. This is unprecedented observational coverage. If 3i Atlas does anything unusual if it changes trajectory, if parts of it separate, if it emits any kind of signals, we'll detect it immediately. And that's exactly why the protocol was activated. Not because scientists expect something bad to happen, but because they want to make absolutely certain they don't miss anything important. Now I want to address some of the fear and speculation that's been spreading online. I've seen videos claiming December 19th is a cover-up for an impending impact. I've seen posts suggesting governments are hiding the truth and people should stockpile supplies or evacuate cities. Let me be absolutely clear, those claims are false and irresponsible. If there were a genuine impact threat, we would know. Asteroid trajectories are tracked by thousands of independent observers' professional observatories university research programs, and even amateur astronomers with backyard telescopes. You cannot hide an object on a collision course with Earth because too many people are watching the sky. Moreover, if there were a real threat, governments would have every incentive to warn people and begin preparations. The idea that they would keep an impact threat secret makes no sense. Emergency response agencies exist precisely to handle these situations and they can only do their jobs if they have time to prepare and coordinate. The truth is far less dramatic, but much more interesting. We have an unusual object passing through our solar system, showing behaviors we don't fully understand. Scientists are studying it intensively to learn what it is and how it works. That's exciting science, not an apocalyptic threat. So what should you actually expect on December 19th? Honestly, Probably nothing dramatic. The date will come and go. 3i Atlas will pass at its closest approach distance, and life will continue normally. What will happen behind the scenes is that scientists will be collecting enormous amounts of data that will take weeks or months to fully analyze. We might get some spectacular images released on or shortly after. December 19th higher resolution photos from Hubble or Webb that show details we've never seen before. We might get preliminary reports about the object's composition, structure, or activity. Those will be fascinating and important for understanding what this object really is. The real story of 3i Atlas will unfold over the coming months as it continues toward Jupiter. The March 2025 flyby of Jupiter is actually more scientifically significant than the December Earth approach because that's when the object will interact with Jupiter's powerful gravitational and magnetic fields that might trigger activity or reveal characteristics that aren't visible now. So to answer the question directly, is December 19th safe? Yes. Absolutely yes. The UN protocol activation is about scientific coordination, not danger. The distance is more than adequate for safety. There is no threat of impact no reason for panic, and no need for any special preparations. What December 19th represents is an extraordinary opportunity for science. We're observing an interstellar visitor up close, learning about objects from beyond our solar system, and potentially discovering things that will expand our understanding of the cosmos. Should you be concerned? No. Should you be interested? Absolutely. This is historic, and we're all witnessing it together. I want to hear from you. Are you feeling more reassured about December 19th after watching this? Do you have questions about the UN protocol or the observations? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If this video helped clear up confusion or eased concerns, please like it and share it with anyone who needs accurate information. Subscribe to this channel for continued coverage as December 19th approaches and we get new data about 3i Atlas. Let's follow the science together and discover the truth about this remarkable visitor to our solar system. Thank you for watching, and remember stay curious, stay informed, and don't let fear replace facts.